The last, which is a big sticking point for me, is myth number five, a nonprofit has an owner. This is Tasha's peeve, and maybe we're getting a little technical here, but it really kind of grinds me when I hear people say, oh, I own a nonprofit, or so-and-so owns a nonprofit. No one owns a nonprofit. No one does, right? Ownership is a compromise. You give up the rights of ownership as a compromise right? When you trade tax exemption at the state and the federal level, you surrender your right to ownership. You don't own the business. So please don't reference yourself as an owner um, if you are a founder because you're simply not an owner. Um, and that can be really dangerous and open you up to some personal liabilities, right? So the IRS and the states have basically said, look, we're not going to charge you taxes. And you're not going to have own equity. The public is going to own this entity. And to make sure that the public's best interests are laid out, you must have a board of directors. You must have bylaws. You must have oversight and governance. And you as the founder must report to this board. In exchange for not paying taxes uh, at a state or federal level, will also let you reinvest what you would have paid taxes into your business model to continue serving the community. If you ever left the organization, you do not get to take the organization with you. The ownership stays with the board of directors. Therefore, the board could theoretically fire you as a founder um, and replace you with someone else, right? And I think this is really important for people thinking about starting nonprofits um, or those that are currently operating a nonprofit, that they're a founder. Maybe they didn't completely realize this um, because on one hand, yes, you're not an owner, but, but an owner or a founder rather, see, I'm doing it. A founder has personal liability as does all board members, frankly, but they have personal liability for that nonprofit. Not always, but a lot of times. And some of these common instances where a founder or even executive director, you don't even have to be a founder, might have personal liability to this nonprofit. Um, and you could be held accountable and responsible for any debts or or um, other liabilities that the nonprofit uh, incurs really is centered around um, a few common issues. Number one, you've created, a, I see this all the time, personal guarantees for loans taken out on behalf of the nonprofit. I'm talking credit cards, I'm talking lines of credit, I'm talking mortgages. I've seen so many founders take out personal guarantees to fund their nonprofits so even after the organization has moved on from the founder, or if the organization starts struggling financially, the founder could be personally liable, or again, it could be an executive director, it could be a board member. I've seen this um, with other people beyond just founders. Uh, they could still be personally on the hook if they sign those documents. So be very careful if you're signing anything that extends credit or debt to the organization um, that that you know, um, whichever role you're in, that you're, you're signing a personal guarantee. So that leaves you on the hook personally. Then there's other IRS and Department of Labor compliance violations. If you fail to properly govern and manage the nonprofit, you could be held responsible for um, the debt that could go after you personally if they deem that you made a conscious decision to not follow their policies or remit money owed to them, um, but you decided to pay yourself, for example, uh, and you didn't pay the IRS, they could have a problem with that and they can come after you personally. Um, so keep that in mind. And then last, and I see this a lot with small nonprofits, um, especially with founders, commingling business and personal funds. Again, this is not your personal bank account. This isn't even your business. I I'm sorry to be the one to have to say it in such a frank way, but it's not even your business and you can't commingle funds. Um, and I see this, I've seen this many times over the years where founders of nonprofits will put money into the business, you know, say to cover expenses, rent, whatever. And rather than just, taking that money back out and paying themselves back, they'll swipe the debit card for the business for their personal expenses. And that's how they repay it. Keep it really clean. Do yourself a favor. Don't get in trouble with the IRS or the states with this. Um, if you do make a loan to the nonprofit, make sure that you are paying yourself back in a very clean way. Write a check to the nonprofit, maybe sign some sort of um, loan agreement with a nonprofit, especially if it's a sizable amount. Pay yourself back in one full swing as a check. Don't use the debit card or any other sort of funding for um, 
uh, to, to pay you back um, transaction by transaction using personal funds. So be really careful with that. 